like the trap has worked. Some food at last. We're all very hungry, so don't mess it up, Mowgli. You have a lot of nerve telling me not to mess it up. Well, you haven't caught anything lately, and neither has anyone else. Get down. Don't see us. So there. Ambush team, go. Catch them. Okay, ready? I can't take this anymore. Bacchus, you're the one who really fouled it up. And you managed to pick a time when the whole pack is going hungry. As if Mowgli didn't cause enough trouble. Huh? Hey. Hmm. I'm sorry. I tried to spring into action, but I'm weak from hunger. You call that springing? Why don't you go home and play with the cubs? Enough! Ooh. But Akela, Bacchus messed up. He shouldn't be allowed to come out with us. But I'm trying to be helpful, really I am. Helpful? That's a good one. Wolf pack. Let's go home. The hunt is over. Well, now gee, none of us are going to be able to eat all because of you. What do we do now? Back is hurt. Oh, if that clumsy old back is had to ruin the hunt, I could have eaten by now. Oh, really? Huh? Don't you think you're being a little unfair? What do you mean unfair? On account of back is, we came up empty. Even so, put yourself in his place. Would you like being called names? No, I guess not. Bacchus tried as hard as he could, Mowgli. Akela saw that. Didn't you wonder why Akela didn't scold Bacchus? No. Bacchus grew up with you. You must stand by him, even if he's not a good hunter. After all, the pack needs more than hunters if it's going to survive. Guess you're right. But I can't see what good he does around the house. Bacchus, take care of the youngsters while we're gone. Sure. <laughs> He's very good with the cubs. And without someone to look after the cubs, good hunters would have to stay home. By staying himself, he leaves others free to hunt with the pack. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, Bacchus is your friend, Mowgli. My friend? Yes, friends are a great treasure in life. Your father had so many friends, I could hardly count them all. My father. Wait a 
Will I get my paws on you? you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, who cares? I can do better than that floppy and flippity gibbet. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. My poor tummy. <clears throat> Ah, a short-eared rabbit. <coughs> um, huh, something's wrong here. Where is he? Rabbits don't just disappear. <laughs> I must be dreaming. Oh, a rabbit in a tree. <laughs> I know rabbit. Have you know I'm not a dog, but a noble wolf. I knew that. I was just teasing. Teasing a wolf? What kind of a jungle is this? <laughs> <laughs> Any wolves living around here? Sure are. Jungle wolves. And one of them's like no other wolf you've ever seen. Well, I'd like to meet him. What is this wolf called? He's my best friend, and his name's Mowgli. His father was Alexander. Alexander? Hmm. Please, don't hurt me. I got lost. Oh. Help! Are you all right? I think so. Thank you for saving me. Those dolls will soon be back with reinforcements. You'd better leave. No, wait. I know there's no way I can ever repay you, but tell me your name. My name's Alexander. If you visit the far side of the Koina River, our pack will welcome you. All wolves are brothers and sisters. Tell me, is Alexander's pack in the area? Yes, but Alexander hasn't been around for a while. Too bad. The pack lives on the rocks beyond that big plain. Alexander's not around. Well, how about that? <laughs> oh! Mm. It's completely empty. Mm -hmm. There's not a single deer to be seen. We could stick to chasing smaller game. Forget it. The two rabbits we caught were hardly worth the trouble. I don't know what I'm going to do if I don't eat something soon. If this keeps up, we'll become too weak to hunt. Don't worry, Lala. We'll find <gasps> something. I know it. Huh? Oh. Oh, put that down. Uh, I thought I'd take this back to Akela so he could add it to the emergency supply. After all, you never know when a buzzard might come by. Yeah, a chubby buzzard with pointy ears and a tail that wags back and forth. <laughs> Mowgli? Hey, Mowgli! Hi, Sarah. A stranger's arrived. Says he's an old friend of father's. An old friend of father's? I struggled across the snowy plains in the bitter cold, weak from hunger. A lesser wolf might not have made it. Ah, uh, those were the days when I met Alexander and learned that he too was a lone wolf looking for adventure. We became the very best of friends. I remember that Alexander was gone for three full rainy seasons, and when he returned, he was strong and brave. Here is the youngster I was telling you about, Fargus. Mowgli? What the? This man cub is Alexander's son? He's been in the family since he was a baby. Mowgli, Sura, Akru, this is Fargus, an old friend of your father's. You're pretty old, aren't you? Akru! 
Your father embarked on a long journey many years before settling down and getting married. It was a roving journey to see the world beyond our hunting ground. There is a tradition that those destined to lead the pack must first leave it to learn about the world. You too, Akela? Oh yes, I was a rover long ago. Fargus! Hmm? You must be famished after coming all this way to see us. <gasps> That's just for emergency. Bacchus! Well, isn't it? But I think this is an exception. We're all hungry, not just Fargus. What you say is true, Bacchus. But I think Fargus is a special case. Why, thank you. Um. 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 <gasps> Bacchus, put away that other rabbit. Um. Hello, Bagheera. What's your hurry? I've been searching for food. I looked for two days, but nothing. Oh. Where's Mowgli? He's with Fargus, an old friend of Alexander's. A friend of Alexander's? The day I met your father, a dry wind was blowing across the plain. We hadn't heard a bite in ages, much like today. Lions are mighty hunters who move in packs just like wolves. Normally, they wouldn't have bothered us, but they were hungry, so they couldn't afford to be choosy. They closed in on Alexander. You saved me. Don't worry about it, friend. There's work to do. Believe me, children, that was some battle. Were you really stronger than our father was? Uh, well, maybe just a little bit. But Alexander was very strong as well. Tell us some more adventures, Fargus. Well, let me think now. Uh... I could tell you about the time I, uh, I was leading the pack on a hunt. But, Fargus, I thought you said you'd been a lone wolf all your life. Hmm? Why, well, yes, uh, you're quite right. The passing years have made me forgetful. That's right, I was all alone with Alexander. <clears throat> ah, did I tell you about the giant lizard? <clears throat> we came across it when we were traveling on the sandy heights beyond the great mountains. We've got to help them, Alexander. But how? It's too dangerous. We'll figure it out when we get there. Sounds like quite a lizard. Huh? Yeah. Bagheera! This is our father's old friend Fargus, Bagheera. So I heard. I happen to have done some traveling myself, actually. And I've never heard of a jungle lizard that big. <laughs> he wasn't in the jungle. He was on the heights. Somehow I doubt a lizard would live anywhere so cold. Go on in doubt. All I know is I saw that lizard. Bagheera, you're not being very polite to Father's friend. Well, you may be right there. But it seems to me that if you have enough time to sit around listening to tall tales, then you're not working very hard to look for food and fill the hungry bellies of the wolf pack. Tall tales? Bagheera! How can you be so disrespectful of our Father's friend? I get the feeling this Black Panther doesn't like me or my adventure stories. But we're enjoying your stories, Fargus. Don't go. Oh, I'm used to being scorned. Oh, I just wish Alexander were here to prove I was telling the truth. Fargus, please don't go. We don't scorn you. We want to hear more about Father. Fargus, please. Let him go. I'll catch some food, Bagheera, so you stay out of this. All right. Suit yourself. 
on, Fargus. Tell us another one of your adventure stories. Hmm. Well, all right, if you insist, I'll tell you about the rhinoceros we met one time. Yeah! We were crossing the grassy lowlands one day when suddenly... Oh, boy! Ambush has failed. We'll have to outrun them. I can't do it. I'm so hungry. I can't run. Where was Mowgli? We needed him for the ambush. <sighs> Are you all right? Mm. Wolf Pack, assemble at the meeting rock. He'll hand out the emergency supply. That should make Bacchus happy. He deserves a half share. All he does is stay at home. Where did Mowgli go? I don't know. He disappeared just before the ambush, and now he's probably playing somewhere. No emergency supply for him. All right, move out. I'm so hungry I can hardly walk. I hope the others found lots of food today. Hey, who's that? I thought all the other wolves were joining in the hunt. <gasps> oh, this is awful. What'll I do? I've got to tell the others. Huh? Bacchus, what are you doing here? Oh, uh, well, actually, I was on my way to... Bacchus, stand back. Uh, Kayla, someone's eating the emergency supply. It can't be. No, don't crowd. You'll cover the footprints. Bacchus, how could you? But I didn't, Lala. Someone was there when I arrived. Surely you don't expect us to believe such a feeble lie. But it's true. What's going on? Where were you all this time? <laughs> Bacchus, you might as well admit that you ate the emergency food. But I didn't. I swear it. Who did eat it then? Yes, Bacchus, who? I don't know. Now, wait a second. Huh? I can't believe Bacchus would do such a thing. Right, Bacchus knows the law about stealing food. And he isn't daring enough to break one of our most important laws. Maybe he thought he'd never be caught if he gobbled up the supply before we came back. No, I didn't. No. Now wait, maybe Bacchus is telling the truth. Why are you siding with him, Mowgli? And by the way, where did you disappear to while we were hunting? Huh? Maybe Mowgli had something to do with all of this. Stop it, all of you! When food is scarce, stealing the pack's emergency supply is the worst possible crime. You all know that. And you can be sure we'll find a guilty one. We already know who's guilty.